So here's a little glimpse of my mind and the craziness that goes on in there. It's not a place you really want to be at. So whether it is by CF, old age, in your bed, surrounded by people that love you, or by zombie apocalypse, we are all going to die. So now that that's out of the way, how do we actually deal with death? How do we confront it? And how do we not let it control us? Well, as a sick kid who's personally <laughs> dealt with death my entire life, here are some tips for how to properly kick the bucket. Or properly think about it. Properly, how do you... Because I'm not giving you tips on how to die. <laughs> so here are some tips on how to deal with our impending death. My first tip, and I honestly think this is the most important of them all, is to think about it. Don't let it be this really far off, scary thing that may or may not happen, that we can't discuss, that we shouldn't talk about with other people. It's happening. It's gonna happen. We're all going to die. And thinking about it is actually the best way to cope with it and the best way to not let it control you. Because when you think about it, when you actually really spend time, like I suggest actually mentally walk through your own death. I mean, as insane as that is, just not necessarily the circumstances, not where or how or when or any of that, but just the feeling of actually realizing that you are going to die right now and then go through that in your head. And the more you do it, the more you think about it, the more you realize, oh, I really am gonna be gone one day, the less it scares you and the more comfortable you become with the topic. And then when you're comfortable with the topic, other people will become comfortable with the topic and then we'll stop being such losers afraid of something completely normal. So I like to talk about something called the bucket list misconception, which it's this idea that if you know you are gonna die, you have this urge to like go out and conquer the world and like go bungee jump and you know skydive and swim with the eels and you know what I mean? The truth of the matter is when you realize that you're gonna die, the biggest thing, at least for me and a lot of other people that I've talked to, the biggest thing is you just want to live life slowly. You just want to enjoy it. So my lesson here is don't let death make decisions for you. The point shouldn't be to try and just cram everything out before we die. Because then what we're creating isn't worth creating. We shouldn't really be doing things in our life just because we may die soon. Because we're all gonna possibly die soon. So if we live our life making decisions and choices based off of that, then the things we're making aren't quite worth making. I feel like the stuff worth doing in your life is the stuff that you're called to do because you feel like the world needs it, not because you just wanna cram it out before you die. Okay, another one that I think is really fun is to plan your funeral. Now please don't go running for the hills. You don't want your funeral to be this some you know weird thing that like your your gross Aunt Mildred plans for you. You want it to be something that you plan and you create and you have a say in the matter. Also, it helps you realize that life is still gonna go on after you're dead. I mean, these people that you love, the people in your life are still gonna be there and they're still gonna mourn you and, and so to kind of, I feel like actually what's really fun is to involve your family in it. I did this when I was around 14, me and my mom sat down and we were like, okay, if you really do die, what do you want? You know, and my thing was I said, I want, you know, okay, so I want to be burned and then split up into three different piles. And one of those piles goes into these little jars and I want to give the jars to different family members and they're gonna, it's gonna have a place on the world on each jar and they have to travel to that place and go and dump it. And so then it's forcing them to actually travel. And then some planted in a tree and then some put into paint, and then that paint used to paint some cool picture. Like, come up with interesting, cool things that you want done. If you want to be buried, come up with like a funny eulogy that you write yourself and you have someone read. You know, like plan really cool, funky music, cool colors, have it in weird places, like have a funeral in a public place or something. Like if you just have like, I, I thought this was interesting, someone was telling me they wanted, to have their funeral done like a flash mob when flash mobs are still like a really big thing, like have a flash mob for your funeral. Do something interesting, do something to celebrate your life and not, and not just mourn it.
Another part of the planning out your funeral is try planning out your last words. This is actually really cool. You can kind of, you can go around and like just ask people in your life. Like if you, okay, like it, what would be the most epic like last words for you to say? And then write those down um, and have like a little book of like possible last words for you to say. Um, just make sure that when you're actually dying, you really got to remember this. I used to always do that. When we go, when you go into surgery and they put you down under anesthesia, there's kind of a moment of panic where you realize you could easily die on the operating table and this could be it and you're going, and they're medically inducing you under. And so I used to always think of, what would I say? What would be my last words? I still haven't, I still haven't figured it out. It's also interesting to read other people's last words, you know, see like what other people leave the world with of them, you know, and some of them are hilarious. <laughs> Make absolutely no sense. There's actually like a whole website of it too if you just feel like, you know, if you're bored on a Sunday, <laughs> go read people's last words. Um, and then, you know, maybe one day your last words will be up there with famous last words. Something to think about. Something to be excited about for your death. <laughs>